So, good morning, good afternoon to everyone. Um, we will uh, wait a few minutes for the last uh, participant, uh, if you're okay. Uh, so, uh, for all of you already here, um, do not hesitate if you have some question to uh, ask directly to the part of your uh, of your screen uh, in the section question. And at the end of the webinar, uh, I will answer to your question. And if we don't have time to uh, answer you, uh, do not hesitate to contact me. You will see that at the end of the uh, webinar, you will have uh, my uh, mobile, my email. So do not hesitate. So we will begin now. So. Um, so today we will speak about Marmoleum and especially about the environmental aspect of this product. So if you already know this product, good, but I will uh, enter in detail of it. And if you don't know, no problem, you will learn with everyone. So um, first of all, uh, I would like to say welcome and thanks for your participation of this webinar. Uh, it is the first time for Fobo to launch this kind of uh, webinar, uh, in, especially in English, for all southern countries that we cover. Um, and so I am Baptiste Billet. I am the technical su regulation support manager for southern countries. So some of you already know me by email, especially when you need help for product uh, like an outline technique, uh, technical outline, sorry. Um, so the objective of this webinar is to discover or rediscover the ecological floor covering marmoleum from FOBO flooring system. So the content of this webinar will be as follow. Uh, what is marmoleum? A summarize of what is it, how it's the invented, uh, what is our uh, collection, where is manufactured, uh, its uh, technical characteristics, and all aspects in environmental and uh, installation. In the second step, uh, how does Marmoleum contribute to the performance of a building? So when you are talking about brim or lead building, some of the time you have some question about the uh, performance of uh, a product and you will see that marmoleum is contribute very well and at the end so uh, we will collect all, all of the during this webinar we'll collect all questions that you will ask and we will try to answer to every everything to everyone sorry and uh, and we will finalize uh, this webinar so do not hesitate if you would like to contact me after, if you have some project, if you need help to answer uh, to your lead or BRIM uh, project, I will help you. So first of all, what is Marmoleum? Ma the origin of the linoleum comes from Frederick Walton. If you, understand, if you know a little bit Marmoleum uh, collection, you know that one uh, design pattern is named Walton. It, is, it has been invented around 1860 and patented in 1863 in Scotland. The name of linoleum comes from two things, the oil, oleum, and lin, linum. So it comes from linoleum. And it's manufactured by Forbo under the brand Marmoleum since 1877. So we are, I would say, the inventor of the Marmoleum product. The Marmoleum is available in several ranges we have three different products so the first one is the compact linoleum in sheet with a jute backing so the our best seller and our famous product uh, is European class in 23 34 43 so it's for high traffic like hospital education but also in two millimeter you can also install it in residential in multi-unit housing we have also the compact linoleum in tiles and planks. So we are all on the market to, pro to promote this kind of product with a polyester backing. So in technical things, 
we remove the jute backing to put the polyester backing to improve the dimensional stability of the product because as you know marmoleum is a natural product as you will see just after with the composition of it and as it's a natural product it can move a little bit so that's why right. in the com in the planks in the tile we improve the dimensional stability thanks to the polyester backing and the, in the last one is the acoustic line aluminum sheet with the polyolefine backing so it's it's a kind of foam to improve the impact sound reduction in 19 decibel so when you are in a, in a education for example and you have some level there in your in your building uh, it could be really interesting to put compact product with a jute backing on the ground floor and on the first second and third uh, level you can put the marmoleum decibel product to improve the impact and reduction uh, between each uh, each classroom uh, and as the product is uh, very durable the product warranty of it it's 10 years but you can also extend this warranty up to six years thanks to our entrance flooring system coral and or new way so what is marmoleum it's a natural product and as you can see it's a we have a natural raw materials in, in uh, marmoleum with jute backing it's 97 percent of natural raw material we are uh, we we, uh, we declared after for marmoleum modular in planks and tile 92 percent and 88 percent for marmoleum decibel we decrease the natural raw material due to the uh, polyester backing and polyolefin backing so thanks to that we have linseed oil recycled floor wood floor pine resin mineral mineral filler jute for the jute backing and the pigments so in 97 percent of the marmalum 2.5 millimeter of natural raw material uh it's come from the three percent of not not natural raw material come from some some of them of the pigments that we cannot find in the in the nature so that's why we decree we are not in 100 percent especially for that marmalum product is manufactured in europe so we have two factories, one in Kirkcaldy in Scotland, uh, where we produce marmalum modular and marmalum decibel, and the other one in Asendelft, so in Netherlands, where we produce marmalum with jute backing, built-in board, and furniture in alarm like desktop. All of these uh, factories are uh, certified certified in accordance with the ISO 9001, uh, 14001, SA8000, and ISO 45001. We use in each factory green energy, and of course, uh, we reuse and reduce the manufacturing waste uh, waste of the floor, the linoleum floor covering. So, uh, for example, in Asendelft, the post-industrial uh, waste we, re we reintroduce uh, linoleum inside of the new product. Now for the installation, we have, as we have different backing, we have different adhesives. Uh, I don't know if you are aware about that, but Fobo produce their own adhesives, thanks to Eurocall brand name. We have two factory, uh, one close to the Ascender factory, in Vormerville, it's 600 meters to near to the to the factory of Linoleum, and another one in Germany, in Erfurt. So uh, we manufacture our own adhesive and we tested it with all our floor covering. Uh, and of course, we uh, to 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 continue in the environmental aspect, we uh, we produce uh, adhesive with low uh, volatile organic compound emission. So that's why the adhesives that you, that you can see are uh, labelized EMI-code EC1+. It means that the product, the adhesive, has a low uh, VOC emission, as you can see, under 60 micrograms per cube meter. 
for the jute backing, jute backing we used uh, a 611 Eurocode adhesive. And for the marmoleum with polyester and polyolefin backing, we recommend the 528. And this, uh, this adhesive or uh, EC1 plus for both. In the lifetime, because we are speaking about VOC, uh, our marmoleum product has a very good indoor air quality. It is compliant with the CDPH standard method recognized by lead building certification. As you can see on the right, uh, it's the screen of one of our uh, um, reports that we have from the CDPH, uh, from Berkeley Analytical. So uh, that it means that depending on your lead building uh, that you would like to certify, uh, we can provide you this report and it, uh, it is compliant to get some credit uh, thanks to the lead building that you are uh, working. Uh, also, thanks to its composition in the pine resin and the lithium oil, a marmoleum is naturally bacteriostatic. So no issue with uh, uh, with bacteria. It's in, we can provide you some report from the Institut Pasteur de Lille, so it's a famous one in France, and the Industrial Microbi Microbiological Service uh, from uh, United States. And to continue in this uh, environmental aspect, sometimes in lean building, it's recommended to uh, decrease the, la the use of uh, artificial light. So that's why we have a large color portfolio to provide you some low light reflectance value product. Thanks to that, uh, you can reduce the uh, using of light, uh, the artificial light, and so decrease the, the energy uh, for your building. This is. Uh, a part uh, of the of credit that you can have and uh, provide for the lead building certification. Also, uh, thanks to our uh, uh, top shield two surface treatment on our marmoleum, uh, the, the product can be maintained like a PVC product. So is we have a very good resistance to the wear. So it's completely different than the first generation of linoleum. Now, without any metallization, no need to use a gloss uh, or uh, wax or something like that, uh, because it's uh, the, the surface of the marmalum product is treated on our factory for it to provide uh, uh, the stain resistance, the scratch, scratch resistance, and the rub resistance all of the, the lifetime of the product. And of course, uh, as I told you uh, for the, uh, about the warranty of our product, if you use our end transferring system, Coral in UA, you will reduce the cleaning cost up to 65%. It's very important because all the dirt and the moisture that you will bring with your shoes in the building will be stopped in, uh, in, in, into the entrance, so in Coral, for example. Uh, and so you will, not, you, you will decrease the frequency of your uh, maintenance to, on your building and so for your marmoleum. So you, you, that's why we increase the product warranty of it. Uh, thanks, because we know that our coral anyway are very personal. Uh, so now we will speak about how does the marmalum contribute to the performance of the building. So I already answered you a little bit about that, thanks to the VOC. But in this way, the most important document uh, that you have to provide for a lead building, for example, or a brim building, is our uh, life cycle assessment, thanks to the environmental product declaration. Uh, okay. Sorry. Um, our marmalum floor covering uh, have an environmental product declaration. So that it means that we uh, analyzed the beginning of the raw material extraction up to the recycling uh, part of the product, the entire, uh, the entire um, uh, process of the floor covering during all the lifetime. So this, this, this means the life cycle assessment. So as you can see, we have different parts of the environmental product declaration. The first part is a product stage. So 
extraction of the raw material, the transport of it, and manufacturing of the product. In the second step, the construction process. So the transport, so the delivery to the project site and the installation. Step, maintenance cleaning regime. So this means that if you reduce the cleaning cost, you can get some credit thanks to that. So you, uh, you can combine with the coral and new way and transferring system. End of life stage. So when you uh, demoly, uh, when you deconstruction uh, the, pro the, the the building, the transport, the waste processing and disposal, and at at the end, it's the benefits that we can have due to the reuse, or recovery, and potentially recycling the product. All of our EPD are ver verified by third party. Uh, and the third party is UL Environment. So it's a, a certified third part in accordance with the EN 14025. And it's conform with the ISO 15804 and 4 to show the environmental impact of the product. So I will show you how works a little bit an EPD. It's a complete uh, document, more than uh, 20 or 30 pages. Uh, so I can understand it's a lot of uh, information, but at the end you will see that it's easy to find what we what we would like to to provide to our customer, our engineer. Uh, so the first pages are dedicated to general information, manufacturer, product, and the name of the EPD. Following pages uh, describe the stage of the life cycle assessment, the process, and methodological hypothesis. Um, I, I mean that we are working with one square meter and we have some hypothesis with uh, uh, if you are in a, in, a, in school, if we are in a, in a, in a hospital, etc, etc. And the earth of the EPD is made with some tables. So for your side, not, not, I would say not interesting, but for the engineer, it, it, it's very important to, 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 to see all information and to all indicators, uh, environmental indicators, sorry. And the last pages describe some impact categories. So when you don't know what it means, you, you go to the end and you have the, 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 the definition of each uh, environmental indicators. Um, when we begin with the, with the, the, the EPD, you can find that we are discussion, we are speaking about a functional unit. All of our EPD are declared with a functional unit one square meter for one year of service. And after that, all the calculations that you can find in table, you will find for one year or accounting is for seven years to see the, the impact. After that, you can, if you would like to calculate for 20 or 25, you can, uh, you can just uh, multiply uh, the, the table with the one year uh, service. Uh, after that, you have the table three, and it's uh, the result of all stages for the life cycle assessment. So most of the time, the, the, the most important uh, value is the first one about the global warming potential. So as you can see, it's the unit is kilogram per CO2 equivalent, and it is the most important one. Uh, and the, in the table four, you can find the environmental impact and the part in the, the the impact of it, depending of the process, as explained uh, earlier, the manufacturing process, the installation process. Using end of life and the credit at the end of uh, the benefits for the recycling or reuse. So, thanks to these details, you can find that the global warming potential in kilogram per CO2 is very good for manufacturing. We are uh, we are in minus. So that's why you can see that we are saying for both uh, that our marmalon product is CO2 neutral for the extraction of the raw material, the transport, and the manufacturing of it. Uh, so we, we, are, uh, we continue to optimize the recipe of the product to continue to decrease this, this part uh, and to get a balance between the 
part that we can uh, that we can manage so the production the manufacturing of it uh, to give a balance with the installation of the or the, the the cleaning regime of it to have a balance and to push with a 100% CO2 neutral in all stages but it will be very difficult to to achieve that uh, but we continue to improve on our part of course to help uh, for lead building for example we uh, Momlem holds environmental labels around the world so uh, if you need some help some to, to get some credit we can provide you all the uh, labels that we have so depending on the country where you are uh, some of them are more important uh, than the other uh, for example, uh, Nature Plus is a famous one to say that the product has a high uh, uh, natural raw material, and we have some we have some other um, environmental labels to say that the product has a low VOC uh, or the extraction of natural raw material, etc., etc., etc. So. Um, the Marmolium product is a perfect solution to the current ecological, ecological concern. It's made with 97% of natural raw materials, including 42% of recycled content. High resistance to wear and stains, thanks to the top shield tube. It's naturally healthy and hygienic. It has the bacteriostatic properties, as I said. The largest range of the market. You have three different thickness for the natural uh, with jute backing. So in two millimeter, 2.5 and 3.2. We have the tile and planks, so low down, and the decibel version with the, thanks to the impact sound reduction solution at 19 decibel. We have EPD from third part, certified by UL Environmental, and we have 20 environmental lab labels. So when you have a lead or brim building, Marmolum can answer can answer to this project and can help you to get some credit for your uh, for the end user and achieve uh, the lead building uh, the lead certification that you would like silver or gold. We can help in this way. Of course, we are speaking about Marmolum and not PVC, so it's important to know that Marmolum product. It's not a, it's not a, a standard product which can be installed like a PVC product, homogeneous or a heterogeneous product. So that it means that we can help you, your customer, your installer, to improve their skill and to uh, to, to to provide a very good service level in terms of installation. We uh, we can this uh, we can we can uh, provide you some training session here in Rings or in, a, in one of our other uh, um, training center, or when it's not possible, as you, you can see in the, in the below picture on the, on the right side, we can also come so, uh, to your country and help you uh, to, to, to improve your skill and to uh, uh, install the product perfectly. Uh, the example uh, is come from South Africa, one of our trainings, uh, training uh, manager, uh, come for two weeks in uh, South Africa and improve the skill of uh, five or six installers. And at the end, Forbo will deliver an installation certificate. So depending on the uh, basic skill or technical skills, so depending on the certification. And the, this certification is, uh, is named. So, uh, Thanks for uh, your uh, your attention. Uh, now, if you have some question, uh, please ask uh, directly to the to the to the software. Uh, and if you don't have a question, you can uh, uh, you can contact me by phone, by mobile, by email. I'm I'm free for you.
So it uh, it was a pleasure for me to uh, to help you to learn and to understand what is Marmoleum and how it can it can contribute to a uh, lead building certification or green building certification. So do not hesitate to contact me. Uh, it has been a pleasure and uh, I hope to see you soon. Uh, and I would like to say bye-bye.